When you think about a car crash, you have in your mind the graphic collision of two vehicles. But that immediate momentary event is really a confluence of human error. Mistakes and events that combine where people do the wrong thing at the wrong time. And a crash occurs. I'm John Lee, and I study the psychology of driving. All of us, at some point in our lives, are likely to be involved in a crash. And every day, over 100 people die in the US because of human error in driving. And so many of them are preventable. In our lab here at the University of Wisconsin, we're studying behavioral science to make driving safer. So understanding what motivates people, what affects their behavior, and what leads people to do things that are unsafe. We have a driving simulator that allows us to try to understand what are some of the causes of crashes. We're finding a couple interesting things. One is how easy it is to look away from the road for a dangerously long time. When you read a text message, that takes something like five seconds. If you simply closed your eyes for five seconds and drove, you'd feel enormously uncomfortable. We have this illusion that we see the whole world around us when in fact there's a lot about what happens around us that we're blind to. I think behavioral science offers a whole range of potential interventions that can help reduce fatalities due to human error. So today, a lot of our research is looking towards increasingly automated vehicles. I think one of the big mysteries is how do you make that new relationship work well? And I think it can be kind of a partnership to guide people towards good behavior. One way of doing that is to make the invisible visible. So make the near collision situations that we didn't see more obvious to people through warnings, through feedback, and maybe at the end of the drive where we get a scorecard on how well we drove and why we didn't drive as well as we thought we did. At another level, we're looking at technology that can help the car understand the state of the driver. So monitor the driver's face for signs of drowsiness, distraction, and alert the driver before they realize it themselves. I think it's possible for us to have many fewer fatalities than we do now. But technology itself isn't the solution. It's only effective when it gets designed with the human in mind. So technology really combining with behavioral science to become that safety net that can catch them and save their lives. 